second half. What's up, Nick? Oh, that was um, a uh, great job uh, for the uh, starting guys uh, on the offense side, Steve, but also offensive side. Just want to start fast, uh, get the young guys in, uh, just show the, uh, the crowd and the people, the fans here, just the future's bright for the Razorbacks and just want to get in and get in the show. Same thing with defense. We kind of wanted to just go back into the floor with how we did things a few games before that. And we just wanted to start fast and not do many mess up calls, saying gaps, everything else. But I feel like we just wanted to just go fast so we could let the younger guys actually play and get some experience. Uh, I started out with the Warren, uh, the ball I threw the Warren. I mean, um, I feel like uh, he uh, did everything right. I mean, just just didn't bounce out way at that moment. And I just tell, I just told him, like, hey, I'm not going to lose confidence in you. Just keep playing ball. It'll come around. Another opportunity will come. Just keep playing ball. Just try to keep him level headed. Don't try to get too down on himself. And uh, touching how I do the trailer, I mean, just Mitch Macho was just man to man. And I just chose trailing and try to work his side. And he just made a play for me. And it was fourth down there late in the second half. Like, or what you see on that play? Did you expect him to touch down? I was, it's, I, I knew he was just going to, I knew he was going to run by the guy. Uh, he was playing man and hard inside, so I knew just one training just attack feet. I knew it just get just put the ball up and just let him go make a play. Uh, part of the uh, I was I had about, about I think it was about like about seven of my uh, family. I had a lot of friends come out for uh, support as well. Uh, they said they was waiting to get back to Fayetteville. Yeah. Hey, hey, I know uh, Keycross played quite a bit this year. Hasn't really shown up in stats. How big was it for him? How excited was he to get his first touchdown? Today? I was excited for Keytron. I mean, when he came wide open, I didn't expect him to come that open. So I was just trying to give him an easy ball that he can, that he can catch. But for Keytron, I mean, he's had a extremely uh, – Good week. I mean, just prepare, uh, get some reps in with the ones, and just build his confidence. And that touchdown just put his confidence up to the roof now. So that's just my thing. Just help build his uh, confidence up. Uh, for both guys, Zach, you know, you had three SEC losses. You come here as a big favorite, and you know, and you blow them out like you spoke to in the first half. How good was that? And you know, hearing that in the, the open day, what do you guys feel about like to do that you were doing SEC this year? Yeah, I feel like that was a major jump start to our program and what we wanted to do. You know, because Pimmy said it was number one of our street, and we want to keep that going. I feel like it also, you know, brought back more life in the people because, you know, um, after the Georgia game, I don't really think, like, the life wasn't really there. But now I see it in the locker rooms and everywhere else, and I really appreciate that. And I think we're going to go, you know, pretty far now since we have, like, a little jump start to what we got to do. I mean, Zach hit it right on the head. I mean, it's just a jump start of the street, the, uh, the run that Coach Pimby preached to us, and we all bought into it. So, I mean, just getting the excitement back in the, uh, in, the, in the locker room, like you said, and just giving the fans a show as well. It's not good to get a break, man. Uh, I mean, I know that uh, all our hard work, I mean, we've been grinding from fall camp straight into the season, playing straight SEC games, week in, week out. I mean, we so I mean, just by week is gonna is gonna you know, say get us right mentally and physically, just giving our bodies a rest and to get back uh, ready to work after uh, the bye week. Yeah, I mean, KJ really said it. It's really it's really good because you know everybody needs a break. You know, you love something so much, you need a break from it because you can gather yourself back and actually do better when you go back out. So I feel like this would be good for our team and we make a lot of things happen after this break. Got Uh, Dominique was pretty explosive. Uh, big back. We like to use him in short yard because it's uh, his frame. And I mean, once he got in, I just told him, like, just trust him and uh, just hit the gap. A line gonna block so he doesn't get your line and just hit the gap, basically. That's all I told him. And to see him uh, had those big runs that he had today, you know, I was extremely proud of him. And his company level is also rising up uh, tremendously. So just making sure that he just stay in the course and keeping the level head is awesome. Hey, Zach, you got sacked from the home coach. How's that feel? How many folks do you think you had here? I had a lot. I remember my parents said there were at least a dozen. So, you know, and there are more people out in the tailgate, you know, of course, watching. So it did feel good that I got my sack, you know, from my hometown. 
because it means a lot. It doesn't really mean a lot to everybody else inside of Arkansas, but it means a lot to people inside of Arkansas. And I just, it was a historic moment, you know, 70 some years since we first played this team. And grateful enough, I got a sack. So, you know, I was really happy about that moment. And, you know, I'm just going to remember it forever. We, we didn't have much defense, like, shout out. Uh, what do you think? It was good, you know. Um, the, the younger guys they got in during the half, second half, and they really they nobody got in the end zone, you know. Of course, um, the one field goal, but you got to start somewhere. And I'm really I'm really happy and proud about how the defense handled it in the second half. And you know, the older people we just coached them up, and they really loved the stuff we had to say, and we just felt good about that. Last question, Bob. Hey, hey, what no, uh, the main thing was uh, Wentz, Coach Brown called it. I mean, I look, we've been repping it all uh, week in practice, and I've been handing the ball a lot to him. And sometimes I had to stop handing it to him because he wanted so much to try to let the running back get a feel for it. But uh, when Coach Brown called it, just told me to just read it. And if I like it outside, like space, just try to get training in space. I mean, he's the freakish player in space. So I just, when I uh, snapped the ball game to him, I turn around and look, I send him hit the lane. and. It was over from there. Thanks, fellas. Great job. Sure.